right, buddy? I can't do it. Let me, let me fill them in. Okay. So it's 8 a.m. on Friday morning, first trip 2020. It is. We are taking Amtrak West this time, going the over Zephyr. the mountains. The Zephyr Line. Yeah. Terminates in California, but we're stopping in Salt Lake City and coming back, so it's going to be a lot of train. Marcus is along with us this time. Yeah. Bob's barely making it. Got the sniffles. Uh, it might be malaria, we're not sure yet. <laughs> He's not doing too well, but we're going to get him into it, and uh, let's see what high teams we can get. Here we go, where? Out. Got the rail dog checking in. Sick as a dog. We got a gear A over here. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had garbage on camera? And we got Tommy Boy. Let's check in on Tommy Boy. Is that real Morning. You could do anything. <laughs> talked about this a little earlier, but Marcus didn't like my camera or my take, so I'm redoing it. But here we are, Moffat Tunnel, heading through the Continental Divide. Tommy doing what Tommy does. <laughs> Hit him, Tom. First stop, Fraser Winter Park. Tommy hit him with some fun facts on Fraser Winter Park. Oh man, <laughs> he's not ready for fun facts. Tommy wasn't ready, but this what is the first stop. I don't know, you can ski here. Ski. We're 9,000 feet. Yeah. We did snowmobiles here once. We did do snowmobiles here. We're right over on the western side of the Continental Divide. Very good. Tommy's doing these all off right. the cuff. That's, that's all the guy, just woke up. Just woke up. Here we are, Winter Park. Colorado stop. This is not a fresh air stop, meaning you can't get off the train, stretch your legs, smoke. This is for ticketed passengers on or off only. California Zephyr Line, um, Amtrak, headed out towards Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh. We got Tommy here in the observation car talk to us. 
do we got? You know, the secondary conductor guy, he's talking about he's going out with some of his Austrian friends, climbing some of these peaks, because they're so out in the middle of nowhere, no one's climbed them or named them. So apparently they're going to be first ascents on a couple of them and name them themselves. Unless we do it ahead of them. Do you really not have my phone? No. Don't make for good content though. What happened? He's just documenting your misery. Put my phone. Oh. Not nice, Marcus. Last time on the trip, Tom, we did the whole how we felt. It was the middle of the night, middle of nowhere, but now it's the middle of the day, and we're in the middle of the Rocky Mountains surrounded by beautiful scenery. So what's your take on this version of the trip heading west? Well, I feel we're not deep enough into it for me to really tell you the vibe, but it's definitely different. I mean, it's more touristy. I feel like we're stopping in cooler places. It's prettier, uh, less sketchy characters. Yeah. But, I mean, you can't beat the scenery. We're in like literally wilderness that the only thing that cuts through is this terrain. Yeah. Yeah. No complaints. What I, what I, when, I come these, when I come on trips like this, and I see, I, I marvel at the fact that somebody built this railway. Right. Like somebody like came through here, they blasted the tunnels. You know, they, they built the railroad through a mountain, no less. So, I think it's pretty fast. Hard fast work. Ingenuity and hard work, yeah, so. Super cool trip, heading west on the California. We're still, still early in. We're still we'll early be, in. We'll be checking in later. We're going to be swinging. <laughs> Tommy, I don't need to ask you where we are because the sign says where we are. What's going on? Good old Glenwood Springs. Yep. Beautiful town in Colorado. Yep. It's got your favorite thing in the world. Fly fishing? Natural hot springs. That's you. You <laughs> like to lay around in a nice I like a good soak. Look <laughs> warm water. like a good soak. In the mountains. Cowboy Aguirre, how's it going? <laughs> Good man. Good. You like yeah, good I'm, I'm I'm ready to get butt naked and get in the hot spot. All right, we're gonna take the camera off Marcus because he's not very good. <laughs> so we're here. We got a smoke, leg stretch break, ten minutes, Glenwood Springs. What's the next stop, Tommy? No idea. <laughs> no idea. Tommy's I've been, been napping. Tommy's been napping. So here we are, Glenwood Springs, California Zephyr, on our way out to SLC. We got the Cali kid right here checking out some snow. First time. Right. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, Glenwood Springs. All right, Marcus, I turned on your, the camera so for your at direction. Glenwood Springs, I have a quarter here. Okay. If I flip it, heads, Tommy punches Bob in the face as hard as he can. Mm. Damn. Bob punches Tommy as hard as he can. Are you done? Ready? Oh! Ah. Go! Man, <laughs> the <Yo>. boss. <laughs> Thank you.
Junction. Uh -oh. We're on the other side of the mountains, baby. Feeling strong. Fun it's desert fact. time now. Fun fact about Grand Junction. This joke's getting old. You basically have nothing on all the stops all the way up. I mean, I know the names. Yeah. What do you got? They have good ice cream inside. I heard that. Yeah. Dave's, right? Yeah. Let's go it's good check ice cream out weather. There's Cowboy Aguirre. I agree. Slow. Doing something weird. Oh, we found Cowboy Aguirre. How's the stamina? <laughs> Apparently, Dave's Depot is the hot spot. Boom. Dave's Depot. Here we go. Dave's Depot is jumping. Travel tip, when in Grand Junction, even though the train, the Amtrak train will hype it up, Dave's Depot stinks, and Dave is a jerk. Talking to you, Dave. Thumbs down. Gentlemen, Rob and Marcus decided. To Rob. Rob. <laughs> His name is Rob. I've known you 26 years. It's because I just was texting. 26 Rob. years. I was texting Rob. I've known you 26 right, years. Reshoot, reshoot. No, we're not reshooting. That needs to stay Keep in. Running, you just Rob. call me Rob. 26 years. Ago. Rob Mustachetti. So yes. It is your name. <laughs> You guys are having a couple of lovely steaks. Steaks. You got a little, uh, what is that, some Bernays sauce? Bernays sauce. Baked potato. That actually looks good. Pretty good. We got to get the uh, expert's opinion though. So, here we go. Time to get there. So we're on day one of our road trip and we have to train trip and we have to share uh, the story of love um, where dreams come true. Dreams come true train. That is true. And uh, I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, Bob wants to share the, the story of love. Uh, this, or if Tom, Tom so eloquent eloquent yeah, you can put it. Yeah. <laughs> so let's have Tom explain. Tom, what happened? What happened, Tom? Well, we sat a couple of rows back with a nice young lady. With quite a few children at a young age who were making it difficult to sleep from a selfish standpoint. But then she discovered DJ, what's his name? Uh, Razzle Dazzle? He read promotions. <laughs> you know, he's just passing through and uh, he formed a bond with one of her sons. He said, you're a, I'm going to hit you up when we get to sex. Right. But then things took a strange turn because yeah. then she said her s cousin was single. Trying to hurt her. Called the cousin, gave him her number. Yeah. Why don't you tell me, what, 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 the last time you saw them, where were they at? Let's just jump forward to what the train does to you. Snuggle down, one car back. As a family. As a family. On each other, babe. And it's like a 20, 22 hour train ride, right? It's so, a long ride out to South. So, they only met each other like six so, hours ago. Yeah, so 22 <laughs> hours on a train is like 22 years in real yes. life. Yeah, so we're, we're, it's a wormhole. So what we witnessed 
was a wedding, a uh, conception, and love, and conception. we're waiting. We do believe she's with child. <laughs> <laughs> Once again. I'm not sure whether they were there before or after. It's, it's really a haze here. Like, we're all, we're lost in this weird warp of time and space, and where there's no law, and you can be 80 years old and be hammered drunk and talk about how much you love burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kissing the baby. Strange things happen on the train. Oh, and yeah. we're about to pull into Salt Lake City. How do you feel about it, Tommy? I'm just looking forward to some fresh air. It's been a long time since we've fresh air by shoving a cigarette into your mouth. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That is exactly what I mean. It's been a fantastic trip out. Hell yeah. We're gonna wrap this up as the <laughs> bridegroom walks down the aisle here. <laughs> <laughs> about that life, about that train life. Peace! It's all about love. <laughs> oh, no, we're good. Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks, Speak of the devil. I mean, when's the last time we were able to get off this train and stop breathing recycled air and get some cool air four hours ago, five hours ago? Well, we stopped in Provo at a very nice little booth where they have like a little gazebo and get out, stretch your legs, breathe some fresh air. I am very frustrated. I'm also a smoker, ready for my cigarette. We stopped for what, one minute? And then just pulled out inexplicably. Life on the rail isn't always easy. Transcribe so me down a little bit. Transcribe me down. Sorry, we're almost there. Route, but we're almost in Salt Lake City. Bobby, we made it. Yes, we did. Salt, Where are we? Salt Lake Central, brother. Salt Lake Central, Salt Lake City. That's right. 16 hour train ride. Done. 16, 12. No, we lost track of time. No, 12 would be 8 p.m. We got here at 10 30. Oh. Okay, See, yeah. Time, time, does time not doesn't exist, exist on, the train. on the train, so. So we're here? Yeah. Get to the hotel? Yeah. We're going to act like we're fired up and do some stuff, or we're probably all going to pass out on the floor. Sounds about right. So here we go. Let's get it. We out. We out. Keys, elevators to get to the room. Lake City, Utah. You're not. Oh, yeah. Downtown SLC, Saturday. Tommy didn't want to get out of bed. Marcus wants to go to a mini golf, putt putt. We're off to the Mormon Temple. We're going to see if we can't convert some of these guys to the true path of the Lord. Yeah? Is that a. Uh... And map, sir. Uh oh. And map, sir. I guess. Hit him, Tommy. Temple Square, Salt Lake City, Utah. That's it. Hit him, Tommy. You got it. <laughs> Hit him, Tommy. Utah State Capitol Building, Salt Lake City, Utah. Hit him, Tommy. 
Riven Arena, home of the Utah Jazz. That's all see. Jazz, Jazz, Jazz. All right, so we've got a great day here in Salt Lake City, Utah. But we have a little bit of a situation. We're at Top Golf. What happened? What happened to Top Golf? I booked the reservation for the wrong day. For the wrong day. I was on that. Too late. Too late. We might not get to play. Might not get to play. All right, so success. We landed a stall booth, whatever this thing is. Score. Score. We got Cowboy Aguirre. Hitting the link. Out here. Come on, get in there, kid. Missed it. I haven't just it again. So Bob is already talking trash before hitting his first ball and not being a golfer. You got it on the tee, all right? Let's let's see the technique. First shot in years. Not awful. Oh. That's like 500 yards. <laughs> there we go, Tommy boy. Here we go. That went as bad as expected. This is day what? Day three of the trip? Uh-huh. Second part of the train ride. Another 16 hours. Another 16 hours. 3.30 in the morning. 3.30 in the morning. Mountain Standard Time. I'm feeling pretty chipper. Ready? We just checked out of the hotel. Didn't sleep, really. I took a quick I 20. Um, ready to hit 16 hours on the rail. Heading back to Denver. Am I just redundant right now? I don't yeah, know. What I, I, it's all right. He's not feeling well, folks. But still we're, sick. We're going to go on this train ride. And we had a good time. What we do when we were Saw a game? Yep. Great game, actually. Utah Jazz. Um, Versus the... Went to the Temple yep. Square compound. Mm-hmm. And uh, Top Golf. Uh, Top Which golf. I won, by the way. Tom did not win. I did win. I won. I had the high score. Well, that's because my drives kept going over the net. Oh, that's right. Too far. I couldn't, couldn't record too, it. You're too good. This was really rambling, but it's real raw. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to yeah, leave this give it in. To him raw. So we're going to wrap it up <laughs> about, about that Amtrak life. Right? We out? No, we're not doing that in 2020. Oh, no, we're done with that? And that is the end of this segment. <laughs> <laughs> six hours. They came on the train as strangers. They left as cohesive family. They probably moved in together. They're, she's probably already pregnant with her third. You watched the whole story. The whole thing was a love story. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I was jealous. And the moral of the story is Bob loves Taylor Swift. It is true. He loves Taylor Swift. Very true. Every road trip. 
love it all. Oh. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the documentary coming out on Netflix. We'll be, we'll be binge watching that. I just finished Cheer. Cheer was an epic. Uh, Track, California Zephyr, Marcus, Tom, myself. What'd you learn, Tom? Wrap it up. I uh, talked to me. This trip actually, because we went back to SLC, which wasn't really the part of the, you know, we just picked that as the destination to yeah. take the train. But it's a place I was actually just in last week for work. I've been there a number of times for work or for fun. Um, I have some great memories there, but I kind of went into it like, ah, I don't care about seeing Salt Lake again. Um, and Bob kind of pushed me to get out right. and about on a beautiful day um, mm -hmm. and went back and did some things I've done before but got new appreciation out of them going with different people kind of gives you a different experience even though it's the same place so it kind of just reminded me even if I'm not going somewhere new to still be excited about it and treat That's each right. day like it's unique. That's right. You know for what me uh, nothing's ever perfect. It's not the perfect trip. trip. You could fly out there on an airplane and be less comfortable and get there quicker or you could go out on the Amtrak and be more comfortable and it's going to take a significantly more longer amount of time so nothing's perfect there's a give and a take with everything and that's what I really came to learn here with every trip with everything in life there's a give and a take see the way I did that Tommy I did I was ready to go you know what the give and take for me is what's that I get to go to the other places but I gotta go with you Oh, <laughs> boom roasted. And with that, this episode is over. About that life. Like, subscribe, comment. Let's get it in 2020. <laughs>